Take in your hand a green branch and beat her with a egg. green branch. That's good. That's good. A branch, Let ladies and gentlemen. Let me finish. So, answer the question. Oh, it's a fake hoodie. So, yeah, it's probably fake hoodie. That's why you don't want to tell Sooner.com, an Islamic website, is publishing fake hadiths, apparently. We're talking about wife beating. What's your point about that, madam? My point, somehow, it is a rebuke that I have curly hair to everything I've just said. If you want to be honoured by your wife, loved by your wife, cherished by your wife, blessed by your wife, what do you do? Love, honour, cherish and bless them. There you go. So who is superior, Jesus or Mohammed? Please. That's that. Not you though, Bob. Not no, you. you are. There you go, you all heard it. I'm not lying. Wow. You're in that case, Bob. Is having sex, is marrying children right or wrong? That's that. The Prophet, peace be upon him, married Aisha. When she was? Six and consummated At? the marriage when she was nine. There you go. And, and do you condemn that? She'd gone through menstruation. Do you condemn that? After she'd gone through menstruation. Do you condemn that? As that? You told me in the marriage. We'll take the non answer the as he does not marriage. condemn it. Yeah, very clear, very clear. He said the age do you of condemn this? Listen. Listen. Are you listening? He is a shark. Listen. 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 Abdullah Ibn, listen to this story. I'll quote the reference so you can see it for yourself. This is Muwatta Malik. Okay. Muwatta Malik, book 30, Hadith 14. Listen to what it says. Okay. It says this. Yahya related to me from Malik that Abdullah ibn Dinar said, a man came to Abdullah ibn Umar when I was with him at the place where judgments were given and asked him about the suckling of an older woman. Ah. Of an older woman. Abdullah ibn Umar replied, a man came to Umar ibn al Khattab and said, I have a slave girl and I used and I used to have intercourse with her. So he has sex with his slaves. Now we know why he wants to have slaves. I had intercourse with her. My wife went to her and suckled her. So she was obviously jealous. She was obviously upset. She obviously did not like what was happening. And she was trying to use Sharia law to stop what was happening by suckling the older slave girl it goes on my wife went to her and suckled her when i went to the girl my wife told me to watch out because she had suckled her in other words because i have breastfed this older woman you can no longer have sex with her because the wife was upset about her husband having sex with a slave. This is within the early Islamic community. And they go to Umar, the companion of the Prophet. Listen, here's my question. Are you listening? Here's my question. Umar replied. He said to him, beat your wife. No. Did you all hear that? No. Umar said to the man, beat your wife. Do you condemn Umar? That's my question. Answer the question. Answer the question. Show me the hadith. Scroll, scroll through. Answer the question. Is there? Is that a Sahih hadith? Answer the question. Hey, you're not he going wrong? to tell me, are you? Look, Hadith. Where, where does it say? It's it's not, the grading's not given. It's not given here. Right, so... So, answer the question. Oh, it's a fake Hadith. So, yeah, it's probably fake. fake. fake Hadith. That's why you don't want to tell me. Sooner.com, an Islamic website, is publishing 
fake hadiths, apparently. Sunnah.com is an Islamic website and the Muslims are so embarrassed by their hadiths that they're accusing their own websites of publishing fake hadiths. See how devious he is, he won't even tell me whether it's Answer the question, was he wrong? Was he wrong? It's a complicated story, Bob. I've, I've, I've lost track of the plot. No, it also includes the companions of the Prophet. Hadith, if you look at the definition of the Hadith, is a report. It's a report. Exactly. So it does fall within the remit of Hadith. The reason why we are allowed What's the definition of Hadith? Beat our wives. All the Muslims are suddenly embarrassed. All the Muslims are suddenly embarrassed. Okay. So he wants something that Sahi, I'll give him one. This shows you how unjust Islam is. It says this. Listen, listen. Sunan Abi Dawood 2147. Listen. Sorry, not that one. It's not that one. No, that's what. That's not the one I want to read. I just. I went to the wrong one. Listen. Good boy, read the sign. Listen, I'm going to. Bear with me. I just told you the sun is the result You work for us, Bob. Bro, like, you're embarrassing yourself. You're bringing people to Islam. That's what you do. I'll tell you why we're allowed to. Let, ladies and gentlemen, yeah. you especially to those of you who are, who are not Muslim you're and who are not Christian, do not obfuscate. Do not practice moral relativism. Wife and beating and domestic violence is wrong. It is criminal and it should be condemned. Do not obfuscate, do not relativize, simply because the ideology that promotes wife beating is called Islam. Have some balls, have some backbone. Your message is going to beat you up. And tell if you to it's do wrong, the dishes, isn't condemn you, it. That's what you like. You like to be bossed around. Sunan Abi Dawood, the Prophet said, a man will not be asked as to why he beat his wife. That's Sunan Abdu Dawood. And it's not Sunni, one. is it? It's Al Abani, no great Daif. Yes, yeah, so let's not move sunny, on. Is it, Bob? Let's move on. You let's are move on. A scumbag, Bob. I've just given it as Daif. I've not hid anything. You, I've not hid anything. You, Moving on. You Do you condemn Umar? <laughs> Do you condemn Umar? Answer the question. <laughs> Do you condemn Umar? Do you condemn Umar? Do you condemn Umar? Ali, get in the ring! Do you condemn Umar? Well, what's the question, Bob? Okay, here's another one. From Sunan Ibn Majah, 1986. I was a guest of Umar one night, and in the middle of the night, he went and hit his wife, and I separated them. When he went to bed, he said to me, Ari Dawa doesn't want this guy in front of camera because he knows how embarrassing he is. Ali Dawa doesn't want to debate, and he doesn't want another Muslim to debate. Why? 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 Because the Muslims are embarrassed at the material in Islam yeah. that sanctions physical abuse against women in the home. Let me read another one. I was a guest of the home of Umar. One night, and in the middle of the night, he went to hit his wife. So Umar, the companion of the Prophet, beat his wife just as the Quran said that he could. And I separated them. When he went to bed, he said to me, Oh, Ash'ath, learn from me something that I heard from the Messenger of Allah. A man should not be asked why he beats his wife. 
So in Islam, one Muslim can't challenge another Muslim as to why he is beating his wife. Does that sound like justice? Does that sound like a blessing to all the women of the earth? No! No! But by contrast, Jesus Christ said, Do unto others as you would have them do unto you. So if you don't want to be abused by your wife, what don't you do to your wife? Thank you. In a, Exactly. An <laughs> yes, thank you. No worries. Yes. Furthermore, yeah. if you want to be honoured by your wife, yeah. loved by your wife, yeah. cherished by your wife, yeah. blessed by your wife, yeah. what do you do? Love, honour, cherish and bless them. There you go. So who is superior? Jesus or Mohammed? Jesus! What do we need in Europe? Christianity or Islam? Christianity! Hey, Jesus. See, you threw everybody off. Yeah? I challenge! I challenge! I challenge! religious leaders in the church to stop obfuscating on the injustices of Islam and condemn it in clear black and white terms. Allah is not Yahweh. The Pope recently said that wife abuse, physical abuse of women is satanic. So how can he kiss a Quran that teaches something that he condemns as satanic? You know what he also What's said, Bob? He said that an atheist whose uh, son was... Oh, no, well, I'm going to no, say no, an atheist it, went to hey, heaven. Different topic. I want to I wanna challenge... I'm done. I want to challenge no, all the social commentators who obfuscate on the injustices of Islam. Stop obfuscating and challenging them. Challenge the injustices of it. Keep your hands to yourself. Your place. Your Quran co permits wife beating. Do you want to be your wife? Of course you don't. You see, he does that to his own Islamic teaching. Muslims are embarrassed by their own religion. They want to condemn me for condemning something that they would condemn except for Islam. Every Muslim man would condemn beating a woman until you show them that the Quran says you can beat them. Until you show them that the Hadith say that you can beat them. Okay. Any questions? Any questions? Go on then. You wanted to heckle. You wanted to interrupt. Go on, now's your chance. On topic. You're a Muslim. Do you condemn beating women? Do you condemn beating? Not this woman. Any human being. Not any human being. Any living. Great. Fantastic. Great. So, so is the Quran. Is, do you condemn the Quran when it says if you suspect, suspect, not even prove, suspect disloyalty on your women? First, first admonish them. First admonish them. Second, banish them from your bed and then beat them. That's how you put it. Do you condemn them? That's how you put it. That what? As as what? We took our wife, put her on the floor, and punch her up. Is that what you're saying? Do you condemn beating women? No, 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 no. The way you put it down, the way you put it down, I know your intention, brother. The way I'm putting it is how Muslim translators put it. How do they put it? Beat them. Beat them what? Oh my gosh. Beat them as in. Else confused. Be, beat them as in what? Put your hand up if you're not confused about what you just said. Be, beat them as in what? See, he understood. They understood. Why are you? Only the Muslim is confused. No, beat them as in what? So you're telling Here's me. what the Quran says. So you're telling me. The Quran says if you suspect 
Can you elaborate? Can you elaborate on that? What do you say suspect? What do you mean? It means if you have the suspicion in your heart that your wife has been disloyal, admonish them, banish them from the bed, and beat them. She doesn't want to come to the bed anyway. It's all. That's not the question. <laughs> I'll ask the question again. Do you want him to answer my question? Do you want him to answer my question? Yes. Do you said you condemn the beating of anyone? I condemn beating any. Brilliant. So do you condemn the Quran when it says you can beat your wives? What do you say beating? Suddenly he wants to. No 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 no. I have read the Quran. The meaning, the translation, the, the translation, the way you put in it, is in in a mean way, in a rude way. No, that's in the a way specific, basic way. Your translation is different. The way you put in it is different. Shall we? Shall we? Because you're Islamic hater. Because you're Islamic hater, you're gonna put it the way you wanna put it. It's different. If you're sincere from your heart, yeah, you're gonna put it the right way. How the Quran says it. No, 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 no. What did he say? No, 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 no. He elaborate. He says what? Like a feather or a miswak. Like a miswak. You understand? He's he's trying to lightly. Exactly. Show me where Muhammad said that. He knows. He knows. He told me this. He knows. Show me where Muhammad said that. Say what? Show me where Muhammad said, beat them with a toothbrush. That's the problem. When you said, oh, he wants to ask a question. Oh, wait. When he. He doesn't no, want no, no, to no, 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 no. When he put me, ah, show me. Show me. When he show put me in, what did I say to you? 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 He put me free. I said, I'm here to what? To listen. I'm here to listen. Give you some knowledge. I'm not knowledgeable yeah, person. If I was a knowledgeable person, well, I would have been there standing with you. No? Jesus doesn't say to him now. If you want to speak, I'll move, I'll move him away. You can speak. You can speak. Don't no hack from the side. Don't be a cheerleader. The Arabic word is Adabuna, which is strike. Do you know the Arabic? <laughs> I told you, I have no knowledge of whatever you want to ask me on. Let's pull it up. You understand? Let's pull it up. You see? You see? Let's pull it up. Guy, Listen. Guy, he likes to preach. Right. He's not wise enough. Surah. Here we go. Let's pull it up. Surah. Surah 436. Let's just go to that. Four. And then we want verse 36. Bear with us while I pull it up for you. Because he said that I am mistranslating it. But the truth is, this is how Muslims translate it. That's what you said. Bear with us, my, my internet is just running slow. Can you pull up Surah 36 from Quran.com? No, what I've been talking about. What I've been talking about. What a lifestyle you guys have. Can we can we pull up Quran.com? What a weird, nasty, Bear with us. You seem embarrassed by your religion. You seem embarrassed by your religion. He brought me in. You have to tell him to me. Right. Yeah. Thirty-six. Yeah, your internet is so much quicker than mine. Thirty-six. Is it dishing out ration? What did he say? Plantation. Move it up. Move it up. Oh, you're, you're almost there, you're almost there, look. You're almost there. Uh, you're almost there. What do you want? 36. I'm still Sorry, 34, 34. I'm still waiting. I want to hear what you're going to say. Yeah, we, we're getting it. I'm curious now. We're getting it. 
I didn't want to intervene. We are going to he get it for you. You were intervening, you intervening before. before. No, and he, he used to take in Ozul also. <laughs> no, don't even try that. We can rewind the camera. So, let's just pull up a number of different translations. Yeah, yeah, but I was just going to pull up another one. Unless this one does it. Because the thing is, this site. Uh, Don't take it forever. You can just say. Right here we go. Sahih International. That's a Quran that Muslims distribute here. Listen what it says. But those wise from whom you fear, arrogance, you don't even have to prove it. You just have to fear it. First, first, advise them. Yes. Then forsake them in bed. Yes. And finally, strike them. Where? 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 So there you go. It's not me translating it. And do you accept that? Do you accept you can slap your wife? Do you accept? Accept that you can slap your wife. Even this country. Answer the question. Even Do you accept that you can slap your wife? In this country, you can even kill your wife. Why are you That's not answering you the question? You are killing your wife. Yeah. Do you accept it? You are killing your wife. Yeah. Do you accept it? You are cheating on them. Do you accept it? Prime Minister even cheats his wife. Do you accept it? The Minister of Health cheats. Do you accept it? Right. So you don't agree. You you disagree with the Quran? No. 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 Don't say that. Don't say that. Don't talk about my Quran like that, please. I beg you, whatever you want to say, go. Not my Quran. At least, at least, at least, God said that you have something to call the Quran. And him. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Don't, don't use, don't use, don't put the word like that. Do not believe. You see, in beating your wives, then I invite you to find a better teacher than Muhammad. And his name is Jesus Christ. There we go. Abraham Mary is own sister. Abraham Mary is own sister according to the Bible. And even after she's your only slave. So do you, Jacob, the do you agree with beating your wife? Let me explain you as a Muslim. No, no, no. I will explain you. Okay, about beating your wife. I will explain you. Yes. Please, yes. Here we go. It's getting around me on camera about beating your wife. Okay. Uh, uh, what, what, which which verse did you, did you quote? Surah 434. He says Surah 4. 34. And you just go. Yeah. 34. That's what he says here, yeah? Yeah, what does he say? You see here. What does he say? Okay, I'm going to ask you, have you, I've got to ask him a question. Have you ever read the Quran? I've read a translation. Version of the truth. No, 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 just tell you. The Quran. Have you ever read the Quran? I've read a translation. Translation of the Quran, yes. So now, have you ever seen anyone beating his wife in the Quran? Any message or anyone? Yes, uh, yeah, I ooh, see an instruction. Ooh, ooh. Uh, let, 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 I'm going to no, no, I ask you, have you uh, ever seen anyone in the Quran? ask a question, okay, answer, answer. it's incumbent upon you okay, to answer. listen to the answer. Answer, answer. The question is, does the Quran permit beating your wives? The answer is yes, it does. No, it doesn't. Yes, it, it does. It doesn't. We've and just I ask you it. another question. We've just have read you it. ever? Let me explain to you. We've just read it. I want I everyone to open the Quran here. I want everyone to read the Quran here. Explain it, my friend. So now, I'll open Surah 38, 41, 44. You read it. Now you I'm know. So he doesn't even know. You explain. You explain. Go on, read We're it. Waiting. There's a prophet that called Prophet Ayub. And I vow that he will beat his wife because there's something or something, yes? And Allah teach him how to do so. Read the Quran, how Allah teach him Go on. how to do that. Read it. He said that read it. in the Quran, I'll Surat Ayu, uh, Surat uh, yes, I will read it to you. I will read it to you. So you just give verse for. Okay, Allah, it's no point to pay. No, no, I'll debate it. No, no, because this, 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 these okay. people are like Satan. Let, a, let, let us come to them. If you listen to them and they don't understand, there is up to nothing them. phobic about condemning domestic abuse. Where? There is nothing phobic about condemning domestic abuse. And let me tell you something. Anyone who is too afraid in this to country. condemn don't shout. Sharia law don't shout. Don't shout. that don't permits you don't the abuse law. of women. It's what, a moral what is, coward. What is Sharia law? In this country, if you marry a wife, Hypocrite. she becomes your missus. What's the meaning of missus? Your old property. They put MS and they put S, Mr. your property. If you marry any wife here, she becomes your missus. What's the meaning of missus? Your own property. Isn't that what it says? 
If you marry a wife in this country, she has to take your name. It doesn't exist. That's the reason why it's still not read the verse. Which one? Read the verse. Which verse? The one you were going to read. Uh, you, you give four. Read it. He gives. Okay. Four put at the eight, yeah? So you, you put at four and then 38. Okay, I want everyone to read Surah 38, 41, 44. Go on, read it. That's how they will read teach Read it! You. Let me finish. Let me finish. Let me finish. Come on, bro. Surah 38, 41, 44. What happened? Are you reading it for yourself? 38, 44. Preacher, you should not afford me free. I do not like to debate. Because I go on the If court, you don't like to debate, you shouldn't court. heckle. No, I go to the core of this kind of question. That's the problem with me. And okay, then, Allah say in the Quran. Yeah, what is it? And remember our servant Ayub. Yes. Remember our servant Ayub. Yes. When he called upon his Lord. Yes. The Shaitan has afflicted me yes. with toil and torment. Okay. Add you with your food. Yes. Here is the call. Watch the place. Yes. And a drink. Uh, no, no. Right, check it first. I want to check it. I want to. No, no. Check it. Keep reading. I want to check. Yeah. Why? And we give him a family. Yes. And the like of them. Yes. And then as mercy from us. Yes. And as remember, remember to those possess and understand them. And take in your hand. Yes. Take. Allah say in, because if. He said that he will beat his wife. Where does so, he say that? That's what, so that you don't show me know. in the verse where he says you don't even know. That. Where you don't even know. That? That's what I said. Get your book. Then write it. Show me. Show me. Just show me. You I say read your book. Show me. Show us. Okay. It's, listen. Where does he say he's going to be his and wife? And take your hand. And and Allah showed that to Ayub. Ayub. No. Where take, does he say he's going to be his wife? Let me finish. Show me where he's going to be his wife. Go on. Let me finish. Now you don't even know the Quran and you're talking. Go on. Go on. And Prophet Ayub, Allah say, take in your hand like grass, bundle of grass, and start to your wife. Can you read it? That's how in Islam. Read it. That's how you understand it. Read it. That's, that's how you understand it. That's He's that's giving that's commentary. That's what it He's not reading the verse. That's, that's the verse. Read it. And take in your hand a green branch and beat her with a green head. branch that's 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 a, a branch let me ladies and gentlemen let me finish you see now yeah, that's it so that 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 is another if you go to another country it's, it's like bundle of grass yes and the strap are like this uh-huh yeah. right <laughs> that is so yeah. hard that's so how it is yeah. so, yeah. there you go the quran, the quran sanctions wife beating the bible said that Oh, oh, the Bible, the Bible even and the moral relativists will not condemn it. The, the, Bible, the church listen, listen. leadership that are cowards. Your Bible will not is said condemn that it. You can even have sex with the Muslims are you trying to justify domestic abuse. Your, your Bible says that you have a sex with, with a girl before you marry her. Now let's see what else it says in the Quran. You know that, what you know that the Bible says that you should have sex with a Yes. So which Four. Mm -hmm. yeah. In verse yes. 34, uh -huh. Is that what? it says this. <laughs> but those women from whom you fear disloyalty, mm -hmm. listen to those words. You only have to suspect it. Are you in the. I, 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 you only have to fear it. You don't have to prove it. And the then Quran it says, solution, yeah? admonish them, right. abandon them in their beds, so that's emotional abuse. And then strike them. Strike them. Where does it say two? Finish it, finish it, finish it. Finish the, the best. But then it says, but if they obey you, then do not seek anything against them. Tell us, tell us, tell us, tell us the solution in the Bible. Tell us the solution in the Bible. So, what does the Bible say? It says to love your wives as Christ loves the church. Christ does not abuse the church. The Bible says 
Husbands, submit to your wives, and wives, submit to your husbands. That's what the Bible says. It says in the Bible that husbands and wives should honor one another. It says in the Bible that a man can only marry one wife, and a woman can only marry one husband. But a Muslim man can marry four wives. Four wives. And Muhammad. And Muhammad. The terrible example that he was had even more than four wives. Muhammad couldn't follow his own teaching. If you can't do them justice, only marry one. If there are more women in the world than men, why do you not allow us to marry more than one woman to do justice for them? Why are you not allowing us to marry more than one woman? What happens if there is more men than women? Allah, if you feel that, please. Because, if she says it never happened, I'll tell you, madam, where it happened. It happened in Eastern Europe when Muslim conquerors raided Christian villages and kidnapped Christian women to take them as sex slaves. That is when it happened. Yeah, that's when it happened in Eastern Europe. It happened in the villages of the Yazidi and the Christians in Iraq when they kidnapped the Christian women. So he wants, he wants hadith proof. He wants hadith proof. So, he wants proof. We're talking about wife beating. What's your point about that, madam? My point, somehow, it is a rebuke that I have curly hair to everything I've just said. Can you pull up a can you pull up the hadith about uh, going on a raid female slaves as bounty? In the meantime, let's just review the hadiths again. And I want to say that this is not a topic that moral obfuscation or moral relativism will do you any justice. So all you social commentators, all you politicians that want to pretend that Islam is just like Christianity, I challenge you to deal with these verses. I challenge you to deal with these verses. So, let's go to sunnah.com. And let's type in wife beating. Wife beating. Yes, and many of them because of this teaching. Yes, madam. In soon, like let's move, let's pull up some uh, passages. So. Listen, this is in Sunan Ibn Majah, 1986. I was a guest at the home of Umar. Oh, she's not interested. Not interested. I was a guest at the home of Umar one night, and in the middle of the night, he went and hid his wife, and I separated them. When he went to bed, he said to them, Oh, Ash Ash, learn from me something that I heard from the Messenger of Allah. A man should not be asked why he beats his wife. And do not go to sleep until you have prayed the witra. And I forgot the third thing. So in Islam, a Muslim man can't even challenge another Muslim man as to why he beat his wife. That is the injustice that this call to prayer is calling you to. And that is why, in response to this call to prayer, we Christians should shout, Dare's fault! Dare's fault! Dare's fault! Dare's fault! Dare's fault! Dare's fault! Jesus is Lord! 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 God has died! We do not follow 
this religion. We follow and teach a better religion. Jesus is Lord. Jesus is Lord. Jesus is Lord. Jesus is Lord. Praise the 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 Lord. We do not need the call to the most. Amen. We need the call to Jesus. Amen. We don't need Muhammad's teaching in Europe. We need Jesus' teaching. Amen. We don't need we need more Islam in Europe. We need more Christianity in Europe. Amen. We don't need Islam in the Middle East. We need Christianity in the Middle East. Amen. Too many Muslim women are suffering abuse because of these hadiths. Because of the Quran. We need to follow a better religion. So, tell me, do you believe in beats? The cameras are there, pander for the camera. The cameras are there. The cameras are there. Do you believe that you can be What did I say? The pandas are there. Yes. Shake that ass. Do you believe? Watch yourself. Do you believe? Shake that ass. You show me what you're working with. Shake that ass. Watch yourself. Do you believe? Shake that ass. I suddenly, suddenly he's embarrassed. I did it earlier. Suddenly he's embarrassed. Shake that ass. Notice how they don't Show me want to defend with. what the Quran says. Deus Volt. Why? 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 why don't Deus you? Volt. The Quran Deus says you can be your wife. Like a crusader that killed the Christians. Yeah. Do you agree? Like a crusader that killed the Christians. Do you agree? Do you agree that you crusaders agree? shouldn't have killed Christians, but they did it? Do Adios, amigo. There you go. That's why. There you go. That's why. That's why. That's why. That's why. That's all you social commentators, all you Twitterati, all you celebrities, all you do-gooding liberal hypocrites who joined the Me Too movement and condemned violence against women, why do you obfuscate, why do you relativise when the ideology that promotes domestic abuse is called Islam? You moral cowards! You hypocrites! You yellow-bellied, liver-leaded jellyfish. <laughs> you need Jesus because Jesus will give you courage. Amen. And all you politicians that do the same, you need Jesus because Jesus will give you courage. Amen. And all you bishops and priests who listen to the Pope when he calls domestic abuse as being satanic, but then applaud the Pope when he kisses the Quran because it's building community between different religions. You hypocrites, you cowards, how can you kiss something that promotes the thing you call satanic? And on that, I need to get a cup of tea. Well done, Bob. Any questions on Bob? Any questions on the topic? Uh, 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 the term presentism is used by Muslims today. Sorry? The term presentism is used by Muslims today to justify the actions of Muhammad yeah. and the, of the rape of a nine-year-old child. Yeah. So how do you address this term presentism? So the question is... What was the question about Fila? The question is that Muslims give a defense about Muhammad raping slaves about Muhammad having sex with a child, about Muhammad permitting the domestic abuse of women, for which many Muslim women are suffering. Many Muslim women are suffering domestic abuse because it is sanctioned in their religion. But they use the argument of presentism, which is that I'm simply appealing to moral, modern sensibilities that actually, if we look in the past, we found that Christians beat their women. Christians had slaves. Christians had sex with children. And they're right to point it out, those things did happen. 
But the difference is, and the reason why it is important, is that we Christians are not saying follow the examples of those kings or follow the examples of those people. Right. We're saying follow the example of Jesus, Amen. whose golden moral rule was do unto others as you would have done unto you. So if you don't want to be abused, you don't abuse. You don't want to be a slave, you don't take slaves. But Muslims uphold Muhammad as the greatest example today, for now, for me, for you. And I say that is why presentism, the appealing to similar things done by other cultures in the past, is not an excuse for Muhammad's teaching. Because Muslims wish to apply Muhammad's teaching today, now, and are doing across the Muslim world. Stop being a moral coward. If you would condemn domestic abuse in any other setting, condemn it in Islam, condemn it in the Sharia, or shut up talking about the Me Too movement. Well, well.